Hi, it's Dave D, and today we're testing a new power supply. It's a switching power supply that uh, allows you to change the voltage and uh, has a lot of capacity. It'll go up to uh, about 50 amps and it switches between adjustable voltage, which can get as low as 8 to 9 volts, up to, let's see, looks like 13.8. Let's see. 13.8 is the max. There is a huge difference uh, between hitting the 13.8 to max it out and the output of HHO. So uh, we'll look at that as well. To test the output in a non scientific manner, just by visualizing, uh, we're using a four cylinder Joe cell with a center electrode and there's some scum on the top because I've been running this so uh, sorry about that I should skim it off but we're just going to fire this thing up right now we've got it on adjustable voltage you can adjust the voltage here there's a noise uh, offset in case it starts making a lot of noise you can tune it that way power on and off and here you can adjust between adjustable which goes down to about 9 volts as I said up to 13.8 so when I switch to 13.8 it will automatically jump to that okay alright so right now it's at the adjustable voltage which means it'll hit at 9 volts, it'll start at 9 volts. And let's see uh, what kind of output we got. You can see the output is robust, to say the least. It's actually breaking the surface from this center electrode. Um, the bubbles are just shooting straight up. Okay, now we're going to switch over to the max 13.8. To do that, we just move this uh, voltage adjuster up to 13.8. Pretty simple and it'll go up, I've done this before, it goes from about 4 right now we're at uh, 8 volts, let's see, 8 volts okay, just under 9 okay so let's see what happens when we uh, Hit the switch. Pull it back in a little. As you can see, it explodes with huge amount of output. The whole top of the uh, container is just boiling. And I'll switch it off. So what do we learn from this? Uh, well, <laughs> electrolysis is current dependent. And uh, during that run, I uh, didn't record it, but uh, we actually went up to about 34 amps at 13.8 volts. So that's a lot of wattage. Uh, and obviously it makes a huge difference in the output. So, just an interesting thing to uh, observe. Uh, it does mean that I, if I need a boost of HHO and don't mind using some wattage, I can just flick a switch and get a huge boost. Might become useful uh, for priming, say, a propane power generator with HHO to start it 
and then switch back to a, uh, a continuous maintenance amount of HHO once it's rolling. Uh, so that's the way I'm going to test it and uh, stay tuned and we'll uh, we'll test it. Thanks for watching.